here like frogs and tadpoles? Oh, good. <laughs> That's good. So then this book is about frog and, frogs and tadpoles, and it's called The Frog and Tadpole's Great Swamp Adventure. Oh, okay. okay so. Teddy the tadpole was feeling sad today. His older brother, Sam, was a frog. Because Sam was older and bigger than Teddy, he was involved in many sports. Sam was trying out for the lily pad leapers. They have the best frog leapers in the entire Great Swamp. The little tadpole felt so left out. His parents were always talking about Sam's sporting events and going to watch him compete. See, he's crying, he's very sad. Of course, Teddy knew that his mommy and daddy loved him, but he still felt sad and lonely. One day after his mom made him and Sam a delicious breakfast of pancakes and worms, Teddy decided to run away from his lily pad. What difference does it make if I leave? No one will even notice if I'm gone, said Teddy out loud. Then the little tadpole was off. And there are the delicious pancakes and worms. Yuck. <laughs> but they like it. He swam through the water as fast as he could, and soon he was on the other side of the great swamp. Teddy could see the frogs practicing for the annual great swamp sporting event. That's kind of like our Summer Olympics. They have their own over there. Um, the frogs were practicing their lily pad leaping, frog racing, fly catching, and much more. And there he is with his little knapsack running away from his lily pad. Wow, said the little tadpole. They are some of the most talented frogs around. My brother Sam is just as good as they are. Maybe even better, said Teddy proudly. Just then the little tadpole felt a tap on his shoulder. He was so startled he swam down deep in the water over to another lily pad. Teddy saw a frog looking at him. The frog said, don't be afraid, little guy. I was just wondering what a little tadpole like you was doing all alone. After all, the great swamp is a big place with Lily Pad Lane, Turtle Beach, and Swamp City, just to name a few places. Anyway, what is a little tadpole like you doing all alone on this side of the swamp? And there are the frogs getting ready, lined up for their race. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell anyone, not even my parents, said Teddy? Well, I guess I can keep a secret, said the frog hesitantly. And the little tadpole told the frog why he ran away from his family's lily pad. Now that I know so much about you, said the frog, it might not be a bad idea to introduce ourselves. Well, I'm Teddy, said the little tadpole. Teddy looked at the frog closely and said, you look very familiar. Of course I look familiar. I'm Fred, the fastest frog in all of the great swamp in the entire world, said the frog. Wow, I knew you looked familiar. Oh boy, wait until my brother Sam finds out I met you. You're his idol, said Teddy. Oh, let me show you this picture. And there they are talking. When I grow up to be a frog, I want to be a great athlete and champion, just like you, said the tadpole excitedly. It takes a lot of hard work and discipline, said Fred. I exercise and train all year long. I watch what I eat, only the juiciest insects for me. And of course, I get plenty of sleep on a very comfortable lily pad. It's a lot of hard work, but all my gold medals and blue ribbons are worth it, said the frog proudly. Mr. Frog, could I watch you practice for next week's Great Swamp Summer Olympics? asked the little tadpole. Why, of course, Teddy. Follow me over to Lily Pad Lane. If you hurry, we can watch, you can watch me practice for the fly catching contest. After that, I promised Susie Salamander could interview me for the Channel 10 Great Swamp News. When you're a famous athlete, everyone wants to interview and get your autograph. And there's some when he wins his ribbons and his medals. So off swam the little tadpole and the frog through the water of the great swamp. When they arrived at lily pad lane, Fred saw a couple of his very good friends. There was Sarah the snake, George the goldfish, and of course the reporter Susie Salamander was there waiting to interview Fred the frog for the six o'clock news. Fred introduced Teddy the tadpole to his friends and they all sat together and watched Fred practice. After practice was over, Teddy was so excited he told his friends that when he got big, he wanted to compete in the great Summer Olympics, just like Fred. And there are some of his friends, the frog with the snake. Fred the frog looked at the little tadpole and said, it's fun to be a frog, but it's also fun to be a young tadpole like you, Teddy. I miss the good old, day, good old days when my mom would sing lullabies to me and rock me to sleep, said Fred. Sarah the snake and George the goldfish and Susie Salamander all agreed. There's nothing like your mom and dad taking care of you, they all said. Speaking of moms and dads, I bet your parents are very worried about you, Teddy. 
the little tadpole did miss his family a lot, and his new friends helped him understand that even though his parents spent a, spent a lot of time with his big brother, Sam, they loved him just as much. Teddy knew his parents would be very worried, so he and his friends swam back to Teddy's lily pad. Fred wanted to make sure Teddy got home safe since it was starting to get dark. And there's his little crib when he was small. Teddy's parents were so happy to see him. They thanked Fred the Frog and all his friends for taking good care of their little tadpole. Teddy said goodbye to his new friends and hugged Fred. Thank you for taking me around the great swamp today. I learned that being a frog and a great athlete takes a lot of hard work. But for now, I'm happy staying home with my parents. Someday, I will be the fastest frog in the swamp. With that, his friends began swimming back to the other side of the great swamp. And they hugged each other goodbye. The end. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for letting me read it tonight.